An Army National Guard member, also known as the Combat Quilter, made his way to our area today. He's speaking to local artisans today about how quilting has improved his mental health. 5 News reporter Rachel Williams shares the story of the Combat Quilter. This is Andrew Lee, also called the Combat Quilter. He served 10 years of active duty in the Army and now serves in the Tennessee National Guard. His interest in creating quilts came from a unique start. As my wife said, we didn't do enough together. Um, we're remodeling a house, visiting the in-laws, go out to dinner. Um, and in the grand scheme of things, I found a quilted table runner class. I took it and re didn't realize the therapeutic value that that was going to offer. Monday afternoon, Lee gave a presentation to members of the Calico Cut-Ups Quilt Guild in Bella Vista to inspire and honor someone with a quilt of valor. Quilts of Valor is a wonderful program that is a national program and actually um, has specific requirements to give um, veterans that have served a quilt in honor of their service. And U.S. Army service from 1967 to 69, Susan Foster. You please. Lee says a study at Walter Reed Army Institute of Research had encouraging results for hobbies like gardening, woodworking, or even quilting helping with PTSD. And they found out that those individuals whom have a hobby of something that you physically can touch afterwards gives that individual a 67% chance greater of surviving life as a whole, let alone adversity. Seven years later, Lee has created more than 500 quilts, finishing one every three to four days. He says the process is healing and therapeutic, which is why he hopes to encourage more veterans to participate. I know that the struggles and triggers that my brain has, that despite whatever drug the Army tried to give us, you know, early on as a Band-Aid, just didn't work. He's just a, a real inspiration, I think, um, not only for quilters, but for men who might looking, be looking for something. In Bella Vista, covering news where you live, Rachel Williams, 5 News.